Microsoft School. Um, I'm Ibrahim, a teacher. Uh, the, the slide that you're seeing is, is not to sort of illustrate the fact that uh, that's when I used to teach and that's when I teach now. Uh, but I have been here at Microsoft 13 years, so I'm in my 13th year, head teacher for three years. Uh, and what sort of struck me uh, when I began thinking about this sort of presentation is actually the number of changes that have happened uh, around the world, but also within education. So what's happened is we have two governments, three prime ministers, six education secretaries, and eight Ofsted frameworks. But there's one thing that's constant throughout, and that is that children have the right to be educated, cared for, and their needs to be met. What's important for me is that as a school we actually do just that, that we're here to meet the needs of children, to care for them, that they feel a sense of achievement and success. Given all the changes, what's important is that as a school I feel and believe that we are a very resilient school. And it's really our job to make sure that students develop that resilience. Because we're actually talking about young people's lives. They're growing up, and we have to make sure that their results are resilient to what life may throw at them at any point in the future. I'm very proud, and I feel very privileged to be a head teacher. I love to have challenges. And I can honestly say, every day when I come to school, I enjoy coming to work. And that's because I see children happy, I see staff happy, and I see that real sense of collaboration across the school in which people are working towards that same goal. We're working together to achieve the same thing. And that's what tonight is about. It's about developing a partnership, it's about developing a sense of teamwork, and you getting to know us as much as you possibly can. Because open evenings are about just that, developing a teamwork, you finding out talking to the children now, you finding out whether this school is right for you. It's a two-way process. We're putting ourselves to you because we want to work with you. You have to find out if we're going to be the right school for you. It is an exciting time to be in education. Michael goes gone. We now have Nicky Moore. And obviously, there are a whole new set of challenges to be faced. As school leaders, we have to make sure that we're in a position to be able to deal with those changes. As parents, carers, you have to make that decision about whether we will look to your expectations and whether we will be that right choice. I just want to read from a letter the parent often received in the summer because it illustrates exactly what the school is about. To the fabulous teaching team at Titus Salt School, my son and I would like to thank Titus Salt School and all its teachers for making a difference, not only to my son's life but also to my life. Your support and generosity has gone beyond what is really to be expected. And I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, you certainly have changed my son's life and his attitude to schooling full circle. As far as exams go, my son has worked very hard at home with his studies, so regardless of grades, I know he has tried hard. I know deep down my son loves Salt School, and feels he has been accepted, something he never achieved in his previous schools. On a personal note, I couldn't have been happier when my son got in at Sol's, and I know that having been, been proved right on that choice. I often get letters like that, and it is very heartwarming to know that what we do is valued by parents. Say, it's a very sort of tough challenge and we have to make sure that you feel that you are making that right choice when you're going to to solve school because at the end of the day, what's important for me 
is that we offer those opportunities as students to find out beyond the life of the school day what they can get involved in, what they can achieve, where they're going to be at some point in the future. Now, how do we achieve success? Quite often people ask, do I know every child in the school? And the answer is, no, I don't know every child by name. In order to make us successful, what we have is very effective teams in the school working at lots of different levels to make sure that that individual student is known. Their likes, their dislikes, their concerns, their skills, their potential, so that together we can make a difference to their lives and allow them to achieve that success. And I'd just like to introduce the Year 7 team to you. Good evening. Um, I'm Janice Easton and I'm the senior leader responsible for transition at Titan Saw. One of the main parts of my job starts on 1st of March when we get the allocation from Bradford because we then start working with our feeder primary schools to arrange um, a number of different activities each year. Two of them we have a Get Ready for Secondary School which we hold in May and then an Induction Day which we hold in July. We also try very hard, I think it's important that we visit all of our students coming to us, however many different primary schools that may involve. So between the team, we'll go into the primary schools and we'll talk to the individual students and we'll talk to their teachers because we want to have as complete a picture as we possibly can of the students before they start. Some of them will also recognise people in the building already because they come to us starting in year four range of different activities and those will continue during year six this year. Good evening, my name is David Marley and I am the leader of year seven. It's my job to help your children make success in their first year at Tiger Soul School. Now, Titus Salt School feels like a second home, reaching out 
and welcoming me every day. There are numerous amounts of awards available and if you're lucky you'll receive a postcard telling you for your hard work. I want to aim high and Titus Salt School will help you do that. Have a great evening. Thank you. Hello, my name is Eamon and I'm in year 11. I used to go to Saltaire Primary School and I'm in my second year of GCSEs. Picking on GCSEs sounds easy, but it isn't because there's so much you can choose from. The challenge for me was thinking carefully to see what would be the best options for me. I want to have a career in business and I've been able to do the subjects I need to get closer to my dreams. I wanted to get it right and it was good to be able to discuss my options with teachers, my year leader, my parents and my friends. I chose separate science, German, business studies and geography as my options. I think it's a good mix and Titus Salt School will help me to build to my strengths. I feel happy and confident with this and I'm so pleased that the school spent so, so much time helping me. Because I got the support and help I needed, I made good choices and I made a really good start to GCSEs. Welcome to Titus Salt School. Good evening, my name is James and I'm in year 11. I'm working very hard on my GCSEs. My teachers tell me that I'm an all-rounder. I enjoy all of my subjects and I'm doing really well due to the great support from my teachers here at Titus Soul. My target grades are A's and A stars and my plan is to join in plus 16 here at Titus Soul School and study A-level biology, chemistry and physics. My ambition is to study medicine at university and I want to achieve the best I can, just like everyone else at this school. But Titus Salt School is more, than, more, more about than getting just A stars. I'm a keen sportsman and I enjoy running and playing football for the school team. I've not scored a goal in a while, so perhaps I need to work on that as well as my studies. This is a great school and my story is typical for a lot of students here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening with us.
which we've had a focus at Key Stage 3 to make sure that literacy and numeracy is developing because in terms of a development for the future, we want to make sure that students who are coming to us, we have a very strong capture program to make sure that they have a firm foundation for development for the future. You may be aware um, from reading the news that the idea of progress, students given their starting point of the progress that they actually make, and it's not just about levels of attainment. We've had a focus very much in school about giving that student starting point. What do we need to do to focus on the individual to make to ensure that they make that progress? What this slide does is demonstrate very clearly the jumps that we're making, that we're making those sort of rapid improvements. But I'm very clear as a teacher that everything we do is on a sustainable level. Obviously, the goalposts keep changing. There's a school in terms of where we are as a sort of platform to move on and proud to stand here to say given those sort of national changes, that turbulence that's been reported, we've held firm as a school, true to our convictions, when we look at the 5A to C GCSE only, which is actually helping to support our EFAC level of achievement, we're exactly where we want to be moving forward for the future. This slide just illustrates, given the Key Stage 2 starting point, the numbers at the bottom are their Key Stage 2 average, which are reported nationally for the last four years have been significantly below national figures on entry to secondary school. Therefore, the distance that our students have made from a significantly low starting point is a significant achievement. Key aspects that we focused on are those students with pupil premium in English and Maths. And what this slide illustrates from this year is that those students with pupil premium are actually now above what the national figure was last year. It's interesting, we are waiting, given the terms of the changes nationally, what those figures may be. They have not been published by now, but as you can imagine, they just want to hold by because they don't quite sure what it's is going to reflect. But we're very proud of the fact. Our focus on literacy, our focus on pupil premium and on MTA has actually proved success this year. And again, our EBAC subject 27% against the national 21%. Making sure that students who want to progress to their next step of their education have that foundation of those skills and abilities to do so. The TAY level, very pleased. In terms of analysis of this, close comparison shows that they're the best A-level results that we've had so far. Particularly when we're looking at the levels of achievement. Again, <coughs> post 16, they look at what the student's starting point is. Last year we had a dip, we had a very clear focus in school. We wanted to make sure that we sustained where we were previously, not got back to where we were. What this slide illustrates is against the national picture Grade 3 is excellent for A level subjects. The grade 1 for vocational is saying that we've achieved the top nationally best level against all of the schools nationally. So we're incredibly proud of our achievement to ensure, given the starting point, what this slide illustrates that throughout the whole of their career with us, students are achieving the top that they can possibly get, and we're very proud of that. But as already been said, the school is more than just in an examination system. It's more than a building. What's important for me is that there are so many opportunities that are presented to people in the school. And no one knows where someone may actually be at any point in the future. But what we're able to show at the school, these are slides of past students and what they've gone on to achieve, as well as some of our current students and what they're currently achieving. And this is why I say it's an exciting time to education. Whether you're a person who wants to sit in English and recite, recite poetry, whether you're a person who wants to do investigations in science, whether you want to go on the old weather picture and play sport, whether you're creative and you want to spend your time within art and design, whether you want to solve equations in maths, the opportunities are there. Hopefully you'll take those opportunities 
and make the most of them. We're here to help you on that journey. And what I'd like to do is to invite you to go out into our classrooms, into our science labs, into our dance studio, meet with our staff, talk to our students. We're a very open and honest school. People will be very open and honest with you if you ask those difficult questions. We're not a school that will shy away from anything. We're very proud. And I have to say, I feel very fortunate as head teacher that I know my staff are incredibly dedicated and hard working. And they're behind the vision of the school and working towards creating the school to be more ambitious and more successful than it already is. One small example is that in your pack, you have a magazine called the Ludus magazine. That reflects some of our extracurricular activities. 25 in a day, 25 in an evening, 125 opportunities every week for students to discover things that sometimes they surprise themselves that they could do. So this is the beginning of a journey that hopefully, I hope you enjoy the experience this evening, and I hope that at some point in the future we have a chance to work together again. Thank you.